Hey guys, how's it going? I am so excited that you are here today because this is not the video that people want to miss. <laughs> this video is going to be so good. You guys have loved the partnership that I've started with Bootstrap Farmer and they reached out to me and they had asked if I wanted to do a giveaway and of course I said yes. Um, they sent over what they decided to give away and I am so so excited to show you guys what you're going to be getting. So in this video, we're going to go over the giveaway and then we're also going to start some seeds. I have some exciting things that I'm going to be starting. Let's start off with what I'm going to be starting for seeds. And of course, I'm going to be starting them in the six cell trays that I just got. Lots of color in the garden. Um, this is going to make it so spring doesn't feel so far away. So we're going to start five different things today. Four of them are from Baker Creek and one of them is from Janie. So the first thing that we're going to be starting today is the Miss Burns Lemon Basil. Janie gave me this. This is just some seeds that she had saved. She saved it from 2022. I was going to grow it in the cut garden. And I just never got around to it. So I've got some good seeds in here. Just a few of them. Perfect. I'm only going to probably start like, <laughs> I'm going to start 12 of them. Who am I kidding? Then we're gonna start some time. I really wanna get um, better on my herb game this year. So this is some time. I have some already growing in the garden, but we use a lot of time. Pretty much any time that I cook a steak, I use time or like a thyme rosemary butter or things like that. So um, we're gonna do this. This is slightly frost hardy. Um, mine's already growing outside and we've had a few nights that have hit 32 degrees and it's doing totally fine, but I would love to have a couple more of those. Then we're gonna start tomatoes. I am so excited. I'm trying to get a very early jump start on them. I went to um, the plant barn and they had already started their tomatoes. Theirs were already like a decent size. <laughs> so I'm technically behind. So I wanna get a good size on my tomatoes very early in the year. So we're gonna do some Bonnie's Best tomatoes. I'm gonna try that one. And I think I'll probably grow three tomatoes this year. I'm gonna grow that. And I'm probably going to grow um, some Romas again. And then one that is maybe a little bit different that I haven't tried before. Then we're gonna grow two different flowers. The first one you guys saw me pick up when I was with Janie, it's the poppy called Black Peony, and I am so excited about this poppy. It looks like the Swan's Down poppy that I grew this year, and it was it was my favorite. It was like showstopper in the garden. So I'd like to be able to tuck maybe like 12 of these in a landscape somewhere. And then the last thing, I had tried this about three years ago. <laughs> I bought the seed packet in 2021. <laughs> This is called Kiss Me Over the Garden Gate, and I want this to grow in the garden so badly. I've seen some other photos of it, and it looks really pretty. Um, it's, a, it's supposed to get about six feet tall. It's got these, like, little plumes. These kind of, like, hang down, and it's supposed to be a very airy, cottagey garden flower, and so I'm excited about this one. I've tried sowing it twice, and I've had zero success after I transplant them into the garden. So I'm going to try this early, and um, I'm going to make sure that it gets full sun, because I think... Last time I put it in somewhere that's part sun. And this has a minimum of six hours up to 12 hours of sun. So I think it needs to go somewhere where it's going to get like obviously the maximum amount of sun. Now let's go over what we're gonna be giving away because this is exciting. This is big stuff. So they're going to be giving away, I've got my phone because I cannot remember everything. They're gonna be giving away the Ultimate Backyard Gardener Bundle. It comes with pretty much everything that you need. I have everything that's been included in this. I don't have it in this colorful set. The only thing in color that I have are these six cells and um, I love them. I did not think that I was going to be a super colorful person, but I have fallen in love with the colors of these. The green really speaks to me, <laughs> which I did not think that it was going to speak to me the way that it did. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm really loving all of this color that it's got. I hope that the lighting's okay because it's been cloudy all day long. And of course I set up for this video in this one spot under the willow tree and the sun comes out. <laughs> so now I'm going to be squinting the rest of this video. Ay, ay, ay. It's ridiculous. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Look at that. The sun is just peeking through right there. It's been clouds all day long. Of course it looks like blue skies now. Oh my gosh. Anyways, it was clouds, and it's actually supposed to be raining right now, but now the sun's come out. <laughs> Anyways, um, the Ultimate Gardener Bundle comes with everything that you need to be able to start. If you already own some Bootstrap Farmer stuff, you, uh, you still better enter because, I mean, how can you be mad at having more stuff from them? So let's go over everything that it includes. It includes 60 of the six cell multicolored inserts. So you will get 60 of these. You will get this pack right here of the 60 of them. So you'll get all the colors. 
Um, everything in this pack is colorful, so you'll get all of these colors in everything. So you'll have 60 of these, which is a lot of seeds to start. 360 plants you can start. You'll get those, and then you're going to get five of these trays right here. These are the 1020 trays. They're not gonna come in black, they're gonna come in the color. You're gonna get one of each color. So you'll get the five colors. You'll get a pink tray, a blue tray, a green tray, an orange tray, and a purple tray of the 1020s. And then these guys just fit in here so beautifully. So you'll have all of these. Perfect. And after that, you get 90 of the 3.3 pots. These are the ones, that, so you'll be able to take your little seedlings, you'll be able to pot them up, put them in here, grow them on. You will get 90 of these, and these will also be in the multicolor. And you'll get five of the inserts, so you can put your pots in these inserts, and your pots don't slide around in the 1020 trays and you'll be able to carry it around. So you'll get five of the inserts also. And in case that's not enough, you get five of these domes. These are the humidity domes. These are so huge when you're starting out your seedlings. They come with little ventilations on them. We've already gone over this entire pack. That's what's included in the Ultimate Backyard Gardener Bundle. So it's a lot of stuff and you'll be set up for pretty much ever. Um, I mean, it's, it's a really great deal. It's $168 as it is anyways, um, which I wish that I had bought these bundles when I was first starting out. I went ahead and I just bought all the things that I thought that I would need. And um, <laughs> turns out there was a lot of things that I needed that I didn't have. I didn't realize how important they were. It's like those little inserts and the humidity domes. So, so important. They are such huge game changers. So now that we've talked about it yet again, <laughs> um, let's go ahead and start some seeds. I am going to figure out how many can I fit in here? Three, four, five. I think I'm gonna start more greens than anything because I really like this green color. I'm gonna start four greens. Look at that. We'll do two of everything else. Purple and pink. Look at that. Perfect. I tend to bottom water all of my plants. I kind of like that there's a little bit of room. I can fit the spout of my watering can perfectly right here, and I'll just bottom water all of these because I really don't like to top water anything at all. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I do not need... What do I want most of? Poppies. I want mostly poppies. I'm going to do 24 poppies. 12 basils, 12 thyme, 12 tomatoes. That's a lot of tomatoes. Holy cow, saying that out loud. We're gonna do 12 tomatoes and 12 of the Kiss Me Over the Garden Gates. So let's fill these up with some soil. I'm just going in with what I could find near me for seed starting mix. I really try to use seed starting mix if I'm able to. I'm not always able to find it, but if I am able to find it, I try to reach for it. Um, it really does make starting seeds that much easier. So this is just by miracle Grow, which is not my favorite. Um, but they had it near me and it was cheap. So this is what I bought. So we've pre-moistened the soil and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up. I had somebody the other day tell me that I need to, I mean, they didn't say this, but they said I need to work smarter, not harder. Look at that, that was so much smarter, Robbie. <laughs> Fabulous. One down. I was going through the 72 cell trays that I have and, um, <laughs> I was poking the holes down individually of each one. My fingers got tired. <laughs> you guys want to know what's funny? Is I still haven't gotten something besides a nail <laughs> to start my seeds. You would think that I would uh, get my life together. <laughs> You'd think that I'm trying to do gardening professionally. <laughs> uh, I've soiled up my sleeves. Dunzo. I found a pencil. I don't have to use a nail. <laughs> but I need to um, label everything. So I need one, two, three, four, five of these guys. If at all possible, I highly recommend using a garden marker. I bought this off of Amazon. It's not, I don't think it's the normal brand that I buy. Um, I just, I must have ordered this and not paid attention. This is the Artline Garden Marker. It's worked so far. I haven't had it that long. They're water resistant and they're UV resistant, so they help um, not like fade. 
when you go to plant everything out, you know exactly what you've put in. And this is in no way a seed starting video. I'm sure by now you were wondering, how do I enter in this giveaway? Well, let me tell you. I wanna know what you are so excited to start this year in the garden. Tell me the plant that you are the most excited to start. I know, impossible. <laughs> Um, narrow it down or tell me you know a few that you're excited to start in the garden this year for me I'm really excited to be starting some more vegetables I think I started so many flowers last year that now I'm excited to start just a few vegetables not going crazy on either direction um, I'm sure somebody will think I'm going crazy <laughs> because we are gonna be starting hundreds of flowers um, but I would love to know what you're starting in the garden I know it's not time but what you're excited for and I'm going to say this right now Please listen. I'm sure that we're going to be getting some spam comments on there. They usually will steal my photo and they will steal my name. It almost looks like my name. It'll be Visit Our Garden and they might use like different numbers in replacement of the letter or they'll misspell garden slightly or they might spell, I don't know, they'll just spell something different and it looks a lot like it. If it does not come from me, you need to click on the profile. You need to make sure that it takes you to my actual page. If it doesn't take you to my actual page, it was a scam. If it tells you to contact via WhatsApp, it's a scam. Um, if it tells you any other way to contact them besides my email, which is visitourgarden at gmail.com, it's a scam. I will put the winner's name in the description of this video as soon as the giveaway is over. The giveaway is going to end in three days time. So pay attention to that. Um, in three days, we will have the winner. They will be entered, the giveaway will be closed. And um, I'm sure that at this point, there will be people trying to scam it. I try to stay on top of it. Um, you also need to have your notifications turned on. I know it's kind of annoying, but if your notifications are not turned on for your phone, for YouTube, you will not know if you won or not. Um, if your name gets put in the description, I don't have a way of emailing you. I can just tag you in it and I can tell you that you won. And um, I've had this happen in the past where prizes have gone unclaimed. So let me know what you're excited to start. Be aware of scammers. Pay attention in three days. If you want to make sure your notifications are on, let's get the seeds planted so I can go inside because obviously I'm still sick. <laughs> this is the cold that keeps on lingering. Okay, we're going to pop all my holes in here. I think everything is good. I think surface sew. We're going to just surface sew these. Surface sew the time. These are going to get surface sewed. So we're going to do time and poppy. So I surface sew those together and the rest is going to get planted. So we're going to pop our holes in these. I'm going to go all the way up to here. I love a seed starting time. Dunzo. Fabulous. Okay, kiss me over the garden gate. We're going to start with the basil because that's what's over here. I don't know if I have this many seeds in here. Okay, I hope that that was enough seeds. I think I might have poked these a little too deep. The rule of thumb with seeds, in case you don't know, I said this wasn't going to be a seed starting video, um, is that, that you want to go about twice the depth of the seed. I don't think the germination rate on these is going to be very high, so I'm going to use every last seed that I have because I would love to get a ton of these plants. So I guess each one of these is going to get three seeds. Time. That was way too many seeds. And I have about a million left. <laughs> and the poppies. This is a minimum of 200 seeds in this packet. I'm gonna make sure that the thyme and the poppies have really good contact with the soil. It's really important to do this. It just really ensures that the germination rate will be a little bit higher and that everything made, you know, contact with the soil. Same thing for the poppies. And then this is going to get a humidity dome put on them. I'm going to close these vents. This is going to help me so I don't have to water them so much. I absolutely despise watering plants. I hate it. I hate watering plants in the garden. Everything in my house 
um, gets watered by rodents. <laughs> I refuse to water pretty much anything. Um, and then all of our stuff outside is set up on irrigation. So this is going to help cut down with watering and um, keeps it so that everything stays nice and humid. If I see it's getting a little too humid, I'll just pop this open, let some ventilation in there. And once I see every single plant up and I see that they're like alive, I'm gonna take this off. I don't wanna leave this on too long. That can cause too many issues. That'll cause powdery mildew and all kinds of other bad problems. So this is gonna go under a grow light now. I'm gonna get the grow light as close as possible to this. Um, so that way these have nice strong light to get them going and our grow lights as of right now do stay on for probably about 12 hours a day because I have a lot of stuff growing so these are going to go under a grow light and um, yeah so it's been a good day. I'm glad I got it done. I'm glad I was able to give away one of these sets to one of you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Bootstrap Farmer to partnering with me and hosting this giveaway with us. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Let's turn the cameras off.